So in our atoms, each atom has a unique number of protons. And number of protons, we represent that with a Z, and that's our atomic number. And in neutral atoms, the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. So the atom is neutral. So the charges, positive and negative charge balances out, and we have a neutral atom. But the number of neutrons, the neutral neutrons, are not set. They can vary. So as we vary the number of neutrons, we get isotopes. And isotopes of an element will have the same chemical properties, very slight differences, very subtle differences. Um, they do have different masses, and that gives them different mass properties. So uh, they'll have different densities. Um, they can be separated with centrifuges. Uh, they'll be slower in diffusion, which is based on mass. So there are some uh, differences, and that affects those um, slight subtle chemical properties. And they have different stabilities. Some isotopes are stable, they last forever. Some isotopes decay by radioactive decay. They'll throw something out of the nucleus and turn into another element. And some have billions of years of half-lives. They've been around for a long, long time. And some have fractions of seconds of half of it. They decay away really fast. So, the isotopes, we use them for a variety of, of purposes, uh, a number of them in the medical uh, imaging industry. Uh, so we have to be able to identify our isotopes. Um, and we're going to use a, uh, atomic notation as a shorthand way of, of doing it. So use the um, one or two letter symbol of the element. A left subscript will be the atomic number. So that symbol and subscript are always a matched pair. And what identifies the isotope, it's going to be the mass number. So we represent mass number, the A, and that's the sum of protons plus neutrons. And protons and neutrons are both called nucleons. Uh, our nuclear particles are called nucleons. So that's how we identify our isotopes, by the mass number, the sum of protons plus neutrons. And um, when we're looking at ions, ions are when the number of electrons do not equal the number of protons. We can add electrons on to get a negative ion. We can rip electrons off to get a positive ion. Uh, so first for our neutral elements, um, our elements as we speak them. So we have a couple of isotopes of hydrogen. So we speak them as hydrogen one, hydrogen two, hydrogen three. So we speak the element and then the mass number after that to identify our um, isotope. When we have, our, we want to go right scientific uh, atomic notation, we want to go read atomic notation. Reading atomic notation meaning identify how many protons, neutrons, electrons that we have. So a number of protons is just that uh, left subscript, the, the atomic number. The number of neutrons is going to be the mass number minus the atomic number. So it gives us our number of neutrons. And if we're neutral, that means there's no right superscript, then our number of protons will equal our number of electrons. So with this uh, isotope iron 56, um, our atomic number is 26, so that is the number of protons. There's no right superscript, so our electron is going to be identical. And then the neutron is going to be 56, the mass number minus 26, the atomic number. So we have 30 neutrons in this isotope. Going the other direction, if we have been given the number of protons, 53, and the number of neutrons, 74. Mm, it's not very visible. Mm. 
what is our element? So first we grab our parent table, we look up 53. 53 is iodine. So our symbol for the element, our atomic number. Then we're going to add these two together. And we get 127, and that would be our mass number, 127. So that is our atomic notation for this isotope. So let's look at the isotope ions also. So we have additional features, depending on how many electrons are on there. So it's no longer equal to the number of protons. So if we have that right superscript, to get the number of electrons is going to be the atomic number minus that charge. That charge comes with a positive negative. So we keep that sign in there. So if we're subtracting a negative, we're going to end up with a larger number of electrons than the atomic number. Subtracting a positive, we'll end up with a smaller number of electrons than the atomic number. So let's go two directions on this one also. So we're given uh, protons 13, neutrons 14, electrons 10. Let's uh, make them a little more visible here. So we're going to start off looking up the number of protons so we can figure out what our element is. We have our pair table, look up number 13. We have aluminum. So we have an AL13 for our subscript. We add these two together and we get 27. So that'll be our mass number, 27. And um, we have a difference between electrons and protons of three. We have more protons, so it's gonna be a positive number. So it's a plus three. You can check with this equation now, electrons is 13 minus a positive three, gives us 10 electrons, so that's in agreement. So let's go in the other direction. So we start off with our atomic notation, number of protons, 17. Uh, neutrons will be 35, the mass number, minus 17, the atomic number. Let me see. And I think that's 18. So we got 18 neutrons. And then we have a negative charge. So we're going to do 17 minus, remember, right, this is 17 minus a negative one. So we have our 18 electrons also. And that's just coincidence that the electrons equal neutrons. So don't ever expect that. 